Company tired of thieves stealing cars, catalytic converters, and the owners, they got aggressive. New at 5 News Center 7's Kayla McDermott talked with the father and son who captured a thief. You're lucky I made through one of many security cameras recording this parking lot that captured someone stealing catalytic converters from not one, not two, but three separate vans. A man cutting through the fence at the Vulcan Tool Company, then sneaking in for about a week straight, had Ashley Webb, the president of the company, on high alert. You don't know where it's going to stop. Is he going to try to figure out how to jimmy one of the doors or break a window and get inside? When the thief would show up, Webb called the police, but the suspect would already be gone. So Webb took the next step. Add cameras and pay attention to where he was coming. From those cameras, he got a clear shot of the thief, Joshua Burns, as he came up to one of the cameras and then tried to disguise himself. So he's taking his shirt off. Now he's hiding his identity. But Burns still wasn't caught. Three trucks were targeted and three out of six converters are gone. So Webb and his son decided to set a trap. We decided to leave those three out. We brought a cot. We brought, you know, flashlights and bats. And we were, we were very, very prepared. But Burns didn't show up until right after they left. He had cut through half a catalytic converter. So the next night, they were ready. They saw Burns on camera once again, ran outside, blocked the only way in and out, and began to search. What's happening in that video is Webb's son is coming down a small hill and he turns right at AC unit and sees Joshua Burns in this confined space and Burns sees Webb with a metal bat in his face. I started just yelling at him that um, I'd beat the living daylight out of him if he moved an inch. His dad waited with Burns while he ran to let the police in. They, they were pretty impressed. Cruisers flooded the parking lot and took Burns into custody. Vigilanteism was not on my bucket list for life, but I did get across it off anyway. Burns has since pled guilty and has five charges against him, and he has to pay Webb back for damages. The repairs totaled about $8,500. But Webb doesn't believe that will happen. We have no expectation that we'll see those dollars back. We, we'd just be happy to know that he's not stealing from people in the future and hopefully he can turn his life around. But he does believe one thing. The next time he's free and he's on the street, I don't think he's going to come by 730 Lorraine Avenue anytime soon. What the Webbs have learned from this is that now in every single one of their cars, the slogan Vulcan is engraved in the catalytic converter so nobody can steal them and make a profit. At Vulcan Tool Company, Kayla McDermott, New Center 7.